Hey guys, welcome to GIMP tutorial number four. Uh, this one we're going to be importing images, working with a little bit of images. Um, again, very quick, uh, very simple, kind of down and dirty. I'm not going to get into too much detail. Um, so we're going to start with our new. Still not working right, but that's okay because we know to check it. All right, you can go to Open Recent if it's an image that you've worked with recently, or you know, just choose Open and go through your your doc. You guys know how to do that. So let's do. We'll pick on Paul again. Um, or you know what? Here we won't pick on Paul. Well, I guess we will because I deleted that. Good gracious, Paul. We're going to pick on you. Okay, so Paul Large, what is that? Okay, bet. Oh, that's going to be way too big, but that's okay. We can scale it. Um, and you want to make sure that you're... Ah, Pete's sake. You want to make sure that you're on the, the image that you want to scale. Um, and that's just, you know, shrink it or make it bigger. So we're going to scale that down because Paul's pretty big head there. Um, let's go to 300. Now, always keep your chain linked because that keeps these linked. So it keeps everything in proportion. Okay. All right. So there's Paul. Now we want Paul on our t-shirt. So we can just make sure that we're on Paul's head and we're going to do copy visible. Okay. Now we're going to make sure that we're on our t-shirt window and we're going to do paste as our new best friend, a new layer. Now let's just talk about size here because it matters. This is, well, that's a little too techy. Anyways, so this is what 300 by, I don't even remember what we, what's the size of this? 300 by 376. That is how small that is on a merch t-shirt. Okay, that is... Tiny. That's like our text stuff. But I mean, seriously, if that was in the center of your chest on a shirt, no one is even going to know what in the world that is, right? Um, now, when you are, okay, this is what I was talking about with the, the white background. This on a shirt is going to have that white box around it. Everything that you see on here is going to be on your shirt. Um, I I am going to show you guys how to do the, the outline thing that I was talking about last night using Inkscape. Um, I am not going to do it today. This is going to be the last video that I'm going to record today. Um, because I think, A, I think it's more than enough to get you guys started. Okay. Um, that's really, that's pretty much it. Uh, my head hurts, so we're going to stick with this. Um, so, you know, you can move your pictures around, images, you can move them around just like you can move around the text. Of course, you know, you get your whole, uh, all your layers for every move. Um, you can... These are brushes and brushes, some brushes are like images, um, but that's kind of a whole different, this one was really, I just wanted to show you how to import or um, how to bring a new picture in, like if you downloaded something from the net, um, you found a, a copyright free picture that um, is completely open source. There's no, um, it's free to use for commercial purposes. You know, there, there are a lot of things you guys need to check on images, okay? 
Uh, I recommend if you can creating your own or having someone on Fiverr create it for you. Um, you could honestly get someone on Fiverr to create you a file of probably 10 to 20 basic images like a heart or um, the sun, um, things like that for five bucks. Um, remember your resolutions, you know, you remember what you want them as. Uh, they could probably even make them as gimp brushes for you if you wanted them as brushes. Brushes you, I guess those, okay, so like we've got this heart brush that I used in the video last night. And um, let's go back to our base image. See, this is a brush. Um, you can use it to paint around. You can use it with these various settings, but these are, and this is one where I've got um, pressure opacity on, so it depends on how many times you click the button as to how dark it gets. But, um, you know, they're really good at to use um, for your images, and they're really abundant. I mean, very, 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 very abundant on the internet. Just look up GIMP brushes. Um, it's a, they're great, especially for basics. Um, and again, a lot of the digital scrapbookers, they use a lot of brushes. Um, yeah, that's where I ended up um, first messing with, well, I take that back. I did a lot of art in Paint Shop Pro. But, uh, I think that's, I think that's all I really want you guys to do with this one. Um, I just wanted you to know how to bring in an image, um, how to manipulate it, how to move it around on your shirt, uh, and play with it, guys. Just have fun with it, you know, play the whole, okay, well, what happens if I do this? Huh, okay, well, what happens if I do that? You know, try some of these different buttons. You know, see what it does. The beautiful thing about GIMP is this hover. You know, when you hover over it, it tells you, oh, that's the bucket fill tool, you know. Um, sheer tools are really fun to play with. Um, they change the, um, kind of like the perspective. Um get to rotate. There, there's just so many things that you can do. Just play around with it some, okay? Import an image or two, mess around with it. You know, play with some of these different buttons, okay? Um, still have more to come, guys. There's still more that I want to do with this. I want to take walk you guys through a little more, um, show you how to add shading to things, how to put a bold outline around something. Um, I will try to get uh, one or two of those up tomorrow, okay? Um, or maybe later this afternoon. Uh, I might, I might be able to see a little bit better later this afternoon. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below. I will answer. Um, if what do you guys want? What do you need help with? Like, what do you want to know how to do in GIMP that I can help you with? And I will get you a video up for it. I promise. It'll be an under 10 minute thing if I can make it an under 10 minute thing, under five if I can. Um, but that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you later.